hey guys welcome back to a brand new video for those of you who do not know me my name is jordan i am in the exact same outfit as my last video because i am filming twice today i decided to film a skincare video as well so if you haven't seen that make sure you go and watch that one it's my last video but i am going to do a makeup routine for you guys and show you my new base routine that is based off of the mary phillips makeup technique that she does on celebrities like Haley and kendall this beautiful face and this beautiful face have one thing in common if you ever wonder why celebrities like Haley and kendall look so naturally flawless and just perfect every single time they go out and get dressed or whatever do their makeup it's because of mary phillips technique that she does on them so incredible and i can't wait to share this routine i've actually tried it i've vetted it it's amazing it's exactly what i want and dream of in a base routine the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to prep my face with the vanish airbrush primer from hourglass I'm going to put it in my t-zone you can see it just instantly blurs and mattifies visible pores all that type of thing and it just really smooths and mattifies your face the first thing that mary does is she contours the face so she likes to say she makes the bones of the face before she actually does the rest of the face so she will go ahead and contour and kind of chisel out the face i'm gonna go ahead and use my rear beauty um power boost bronzer stick in let's see what color this is i think this is happy soul i'm not really sure um but i'll link it below for you guys and then she carves out the face on the cheekbones down the nose a little bit i'm just gonna use my fingers for this and just kind of blend it on the jaw i like to contour like not underneath but like right above my jaw to like shorten her up a little bit and then I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and then just kind of pat it underneath the brow bone to lift. So if you want this like supermodel off duty lifted chiseled look, I feel like this is exactly what you need to do. So I'm just going to lightly blend this in with a beauty sponge. You can use your fingers like, I mean, it also works really well with your fingers if you don't want to use a beauty sponge. But I like to just very softly blend it in but I don't want to blend it in all the way yet. Like I just kind of want to feather it a little bit. You can also do this with other contours. I like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but you have to blend that one really quickly or else I feel like it um, gets splotchy. I'm actually going to go back in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury one because it is a little darker and I really want to chisel out some of these areas, especially on the forehead and um, around the eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit and also put that on the lid. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with concealer and clean up any sort of like spots or pigmentation that I have and naturally conceal things, just conceal in the areas that I feel like I need it. Um, any redness, any spots, any like hyperpigmentation, anything like that. You guys, I took my Maybelline concealer. This is the, um, the Maybelline eraser concealer and I took the foamy part off because the foamy part I feel like gets so nasty that I just wanted to take it off and use the concealer so I use it I twist it and I just put it on my hand and I'll just apply it on the areas that I feel like I need it just like under the eyes around the nose I also feel like this keeps you from breaking out because the sponge gets so nasty this is shade 110 by the way for the Maybelline concealer I feel like you guys are always like, what drugstore makeup do you use? I'm like, I love Maybelline. I feel like the Maybelline Fit Me and the Maybelline um, Eraser Concealer are so good. And all the products that I'm using today are completely non-comedogenic. They won't, meaning they won't make you break out because I can't use products that have pore clogging ingredients because they all make me break out. Now you can see it's very contrasty. I just have concealer, still have some missing spots on the face definitely need to blend it all together. My favorite part of Mary's technique is she takes the foundation and she puts it on a fluffy brush. I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This one is also amazing and does not clog your pores. It just has the best finish. Like these are ride or die products that I cannot live without this. The Rare Beauty Contour, mm, so good. So what she does is she takes a fluffy brush. This is a Dibs double-ended brush and 
I'm gonna take this side, this side's a little fluffier, but this one's a little bit um, shorter, is she kind of dips it in the foundation and dusts the brush over the face very lightly and blends it all together. And she goes over the contour, like, look at that. Just a little bit, I'm only gonna take like that much. And this just gives you like the perfect amount of coverage, like without causing any creasing whatsoever. I think that's like the biggest thing about this technique that I love is that you don't get any creasing because you're using such minimal product. And also like as someone who doesn't wanna like buy new products every month, this is so nice because you can conserve a lot of product. And it's such a smooth application this way too. Like it looks like your skin, it's so flawless. And then when you're done doing that, if you wanna make it even look more natural, you can go in with your same beauty blender again and then just like make sure it's really on there. But you don't even really need to do this step. Like your makeup, the brush makes it look perfect and not streaky at all. I'm gonna use the Say Beauty blush in Chili. I absolutely love this stuff. I also like the Rare Beauty one, but I've been trying to switch it up lately and just try something different. Um, I really like this color. I feel like it's a nice, oops, my hair is in the way. It's a nice little wintry pink. And I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender that I had before and start blending that out. And then I can add more later if I really need. Actually adding a little bit more because I wanna be really blushy today. That looks so pretty. Okay, I lied. I have to go in with my Rare Beauty a little bit. I can't help it, you guys. Like, I'm too addicted to it. I can't not. This is shade Hope. It's just a little bit less pink, but it just looks so pretty on the skin. I need to, like, use it every single time I do my makeup or else I feel incomplete. Um, and it also does blend really well with the Say Beauty, but I just needed a little something else. I just did one dot on each side. The first thing I'm going to set my face with is this um powder from westman atelier it's a light pink setting powder and it's also non-comedogenic i love the packaging on this it's so pretty obviously it's really dirty but i really like the way that this looks on the skin versus having like a white or light setting powder it really just like airbrushes your face but still leaves like its natural radiance if that makes sense so i'm taking the other end of the dibs brush and just kind of dusting it along my t-zone this is just such a beautiful powder i really want to try other products from them because apparently they have really really great like contour sticks and blush sticks but i have to check the ingredients to make sure that they're non-comedogenic okay so i decided i want to use a little more blush and i'm going to go in with my tom ford number a6 aflame and this one is so pretty i love the duo color you can kind of like use either I like to use the lighter pink, but then I'll like dab once in the darker, kind of dust it on my hand and then just put it on the lower half of my cheekbone because I want to keep the upper half a little bit glowy. So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my new brow hack. I use the Lancome Lash uh, Sills Booster Mascara and it is a lash primer and it's white. It looks really crazy, but it really, really works. And one day I forgot brow gel and I just used this on my brows and discovered that it made my brows look really, really, really good and held them in place all day. Yeah, it's white, but <laughs> wait. So what you do is you wanna like pat it in like that and just kind of blend it in. Yeah, it's supposed to like add fiber. So it makes your brow hair a lot longer than it looks and um, or it makes it look a lot longer than it is. And then I take the Charlotte Tilbury um, Legendary Brows Brow Gel. I love the applicator on this thing. It's so nice and precise. And then I go over the white with this little brow spoolie. And I feel like I have way more volume in my brows this way. And they just look so much more natural. I like to focus on the outer tail too and really brush that part up to lift my face. For eyeshadow, I'm going to take this Tarte palette from 
Tarte, obviously. <laughs> I'm gonna take this palette from Tarte. This is the Energy palette. I just got it. And I think I'm gonna take like these colors here, like the pink and the nudes, and then just kind of make that the base of my eyeshadow. I'm gonna keep it really natural today and just do like a base color and then a little, yeah, that looks really nice. And then also bring it underneath. And then I like to kind of follow like right under my brow bone and then just kind of like lift up like that. Now I'm gonna take this white cream color, like whitish cream color, and then just kind of blend out the edges a bit, make it less intense. I don't know if you guys follow Alex Earl on TikTok, I'm sure you do, but she does a white liner in her waterline and I love the way that it looks and I started doing it and I love the way it looks on myself too. So I just keep doing it every day. It's been like my new go-to. And then I'll take my Refi brow pencil and I'll kind of draw a little liner wing like so. and elongate the eyes sometimes i'll just use my fingernail and kind of smudge it out and i'm going to curl my lashes with my chanel lash curler my lashes are really stubborn and this is one of the only ones that really works for me yep okay and now we're going back in with the sills mascara and i'm gonna do this on my lashes as well trust me you guys it makes a huge huge difference in the length of your lashes to do a primer it also i've noticed that my lashes have been falling out way less with this stuff like it's been helping my lash growth for sure because it like coats your lashes and primes them before destroying them with mascara y'all are gonna hate me for this but i'm gonna use a brown mascara on the bottom and then a black mascara on the top because I saw someone do this the other day and I really loved the way that it looked. Um, on top, I'm gonna do the YSL, what is this? Lash Clash Mascara. I think that's pretty significant for not having any lashes. That Lancome stuff really, really works. Like, wow, okay. Wow, okay, so brown mascara on the bottom, I'm gonna use the Dior Show mascara for liner I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Lapse Permagel Ultra Lip Liner in Contour it's like a pretty nude brownish color like that looks so good and then in the center i'm gonna take the oleo e also it's like um a cheek and lip stick but i can't use it on my cheeks because it makes me break out so i've been using it on my lips and it's like a moisturizing lip balm and it is so pretty and smells so good like that gives it a nice little pink flush off, I'm gonna use the Kosas Plump and Juicy Lip Boost. And I just take a little bit of that in the center. Like that. Nice little glaze in the center. I was gonna do a little bit of highlighter, but I actually don't think I need it. I feel very glowy from within. Like I don't really need a whole lot of product on my face. I barely have any layers of product on my face. It looks so natural and glowy. I absolutely love it. This is just the perfect everyday base routine. It looks so natural and glowy. It is so like thin on your face. I feel like I'm not even wearing a lot of makeup and it's just a way more efficient way to do your base, I feel like. And Mary Phillips was not kidding when she did this on Kendall and Haley. They look incredible. This is going to be your new best friend base routine. So here is the final look. Okay, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did like today's video, I linked all the products that I used below in the description in case you wanna shop anything. 
I used but yeah that's basically it hopefully you learned something hopefully this was helpful and educational but yeah um that's all I have to say I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video